Let's get to the chase. Two big misconceptions about the US Space Force. One is what we actually do, and two is why the uniforms are camouflage. Let's get it. When it comes to defending our nation and protecting our way of life, the only thing we can't afford is inaction. The American people deserve our very best, and they will have it. The United States Space Force will strengthen our security, it'll ensure our prosperity, and it will also carry American ideals into the boundless expanse of space. While other nations increasingly possess the capability to operate in space, not all of them share our commitment to freedom, private property, and the rule of law. So as we continue to carry American leadership in space, so also will we carry America's commitment to freedom into this new frontier. So obviously we are not stormtroopers, but before we get into it, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on the newest Space Force news and other things military. So let's address that there is a disconnect between what the Space Force actually does and what the public perceives we do or what they think we do. So President Donald Trump announcing Space Force is not a new idea. The thing is, some people have a negative connotation with Donald Trump already. So anything that's associated or anything that comes out of his mouth, they automatically dismiss. One of those things being Space Force. So before the establishment of Space Force, space operations were conducted under Air Force Space Command, a MAGCOM or Major Command of the Air Force. The mission of Air Force Space Command is pretty similar to what the mission of Space Force is. But before we get into that, I can tell you two things that the Space Force mission is not. That is, one, fighting aliens. Welcome to Earth. And two, colonizing the moon. Here's an idea of the responsibilities or the mission of Air Force Space Command and now US Space Force. Having space superiority. Now, what does that mean? Basically, we have things such as offensive and defensive space control. So you don't want our assets getting hacked or any of our satellites getting hacked. That means you could lose GPS, you could lose communication, but a lot of people don't understand that if your assets are vulnerable like this, then there is a possibility of losing them. Command and control of the satellites, making sure that the satellites are working from the ground. Space service support, such as space lift or what I did back at Cape Canaveral, ensuring that we can launch rockets up into space with their payloads. Nuclear detonation detection, making sure that we know if there was a nuke that went off. Missile warning, missile defense, making sure that people get the warning that they need in case missiles are coming to blow them up. Utilization of weather satellites. There's a plethora of other things that we are responsible for in space, but how do we control our assets in space? We control that from the ground. Which brings me to my next point. And I put out a video and I put out other videos too about Space Force, but a lot of the comments that I get is, especially for my Space Force uniform video, is why are, are we wearing OCP or camouflage uniform if it's the Space Force? Because I can, I can understand what you guys are saying. If we're the Space Force, don't we want to camouflage with space? Or maybe if, if we're on the moon, but if we go back to my first point, one of those things was we're not trying to colonize the moon. And if I go back to one of my last points is that we control our space assets here from the ground. A lot of our jobs are done on an operations floor on an Air Force base. But now our Air Force bases that have transferred to the Space Force are now called Space Force Garrison, such as Pearson Shriver Garrison and Buckley Garrison. We do not need to blend in with space. We do not need to blend in with the moon. We don't need moon camouflage. We don't need the camouflage from the Space Force Netflix series. We operate on the ground on our little consoles and we type in commands. You know, this is all pretty standard stuff, but you don't know what you don't know. Another reason is because we don't need to spend more money on more uniforms. It wouldn't make sense. So if we were to deploy in a deployed environment, Usually you want everyone having the same OCP uniform. We had a uniform in garrison that we wore only in the continental of the United States, and then we deployed and then they had to give us OCPs. It wouldn't make any sense. It really wouldn't make any sense from a logistical standpoint. As you know, the Space Force is the newest branch. So I'm not saying that these things are not possible in the future, but 
these things are very, very far in the future that we should not be worrying about Space Force camouflage, blending in with space. It doesn't make any dang sense. All right. Anyway, if you guys made it at this point in the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and informative. And for those of you guys that have been subscribed to me, you might have noticed that I changed my name. Um, so ever since I was at the Nike Airman, I appreciate your guys' support. But, you know, I had to change it. We're going to the Space Force. I'm going to transfer to Space Force in the next two weeks. And I came up with the name Space Jam Tactical. So that's going to be my new YouTube username. Don't have to worry about Nike. Not in the Air Force. Not an Airman anymore. So, um yeah and as always stay safe keep grinding y'all take it easy